Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative for Atlantic British, and in this video we're going to touch base on the oil change kit that we've put together for your maintenance and service program. Now this particular kit will work on the Defender 90, the Classics, and the D1s. And what we'll do is include enough for two oil changes. You do oil changes on a pretty regular basis, on a pretty regular mileage, usually much closer together than any other service on the vehicle. So it's good to have two buy two at a time you save yourself some money and some time you will get two filters two new drain plugs and two new drain plug gaskets and I find especially with the gaskets very important you really don't need this to be leaking after you just put eight quarts of fresh fluid in your vehicle so again that's uh, that's our oil change kit and what we're doing to do is show you some basics as far as location of your oil filter and how to do a basic oil change Okay, so one of the most common services that you're going to do to your vehicle is going to be the oil change. Now, thankfully, because of the height of most Land Rovers from the ground, you can easily get underneath when a creeper. You should be able to access this in your driveway, your garage. Those of you lucky enough with a lift, like we have, does make it a lot easier. Very simple procedure. You want to take a bucket that will hold at least uh, six quarts of oil, preferably nine. You want to leave yourself a little bit of space so when you're carrying it across the garage you're not spilling it all over the floor. The drain plug in the case of the D9s is actually a large inch and three sixteenths plug on the driver's side of the vehicle facing the bottom down at the bottom of the pan. This uh, we remove this plug this has a copper sealing gasket on the back of the plug you'll be receiving a new one with your kit always good to use a new gasket you want this to seal up properly when you're done. All right, on the uh, your oil filter is a screw-on oil filter front of the engine on the passenger side. You would use a strap wrench to remove this. When you go to install the new filter, I generally recommend take some take a quart of oil, fill the new filter up until the point where it's even with the gasket. Let it sit for a minute. You will see the oil absorb into the gasket or the filter paper in the filter itself. This way it reduces the amount of time that your engine will run dry on your startup after you filled it with oil. That's pretty much just an oil change, it's simply a drain, refill, and change the filter. Uh, you will find that the uh, we have recommendations that will show you your capacity, how much oil you should be using, what weight oil you should be using, and in this case with the D9s, actually the climate that you live in will determine what oil you should be using. So again, you can refer back to the new maintenance schedules and they will actually show you, give you all this information. And that's pretty much it for oil changes.